a tutorial that's going to walk us through how to remove blemishes in Photoshop. Uh, there's a lot of times you'll get a photo you need to edit that uh, the individual, the model in it, may have some, uh, well, just like you see in this picture, may have some acne issues or uh, just some blemishes that you want to remove. And so Photoshop makes it very easy to do. The main tool we're going to be using is the stamp tool. And then from there, we're also going to be playing around with the lighting a little bit just to kind of just completely take away some of those issues. Keeping that uh, the fact that you still want to make the photo look natural, but you want to have the majority of those blemishes removed is kind of a fine line. Uh, we could go through and remove every one of these blemishes, but then uh, the image may look definitely doctored, which isn't what we want. We want it to look natural, but just to kind of take away uh, some of the blemishes from it. So the first thing we're going to do is to zoom in and zoom in quite a bit to the, really to the pixel layout level. Uh, maybe one back from there. And so now what we're gonna do is come over here, we're gonna get the first blemish first, and come and over to the stamp tool, click it, and click on the option key. We're gonna pick this area skin that we wanna stamp from, and then come over here and just start taking it away. And with the stamp tool you really want to make sure you don't keep it always in one place or else you're going to end up with uh, some weird looking patterns and it's going to almost look like there's some kind of texture on the image which is not what we want at all. So. Uh, make sure that you're picking from different areas. I'm doing it quickly here um, just because I want this uh, tutorial to go on for a few hours like it could for uh, sometimes when you're editing these. But what I'm doing is I'm just going through picking kind of targeted but still random spots on the face, clicking option, selecting that as a target, then coming up and removing that blemish. Then going to a different area, Picking out a different target, picking out a number of targets. You want to make sure that, uh, especially when you're dealing with face type images, uh, it's very easy to start just uh, trying to fix everything and trying to find one color that does all the work, but you're just not going to find that. You still have to work with a number of different colors or else the face just isn't going to look real and it's not going to look natural. So uh, in those cases people can tell it's photoshopped and it just doesn't look good. So uh, we're just kind of going through and navigating, taking out a lot of the different blemishes, picking targeted areas so that the blemish can get removed but the face still looks natural. And also, when you're picking your targets, make sure you don't go too far away from where uh, from where you want to make your change. Because if you do, what you'll, what's going to end up happening is the color is going to be so far off. Uh, it's just it's definitely going to look weird. If you really zoom in, you can kind of even see right in here. This color is not the best one for it, so I'm going to have to redo a few of them right there. Pick from a little bit different area and that should be better. Looks like there's a few more blemishes in this area. Come down, there's a pretty significant one here. Anything on the cheeks is always difficult because there's a pretty wide color range that's natural and so you have to pick from a lot of different areas to make sure that you're not just kind of coating it all in one color. And go down to below to right around the chin area. 
This part's very easy. You can see even on the pixel level that the colors are almost identical. They're very close, which makes it a lot easier to pick a good target color. When you start to see a wide range, like we're going to see here in a second, uh, under the nose because of the shadows, uh, that's one of the hardest areas to do and to make look natural. So we're going to go do that one next. You can see right here, you have pretty dark shades of almost the same in color all the way to almost white right here. So you have to make sure that you're picking really targeted areas so the color's right. See right there, that's way too white, so I need to redo that. You want to fix the blemish, but you don't want to do it at the expense of the picture looking doctored. Looks like we're almost about there. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and see where we're at. That looks a lot better right there. Um, we've got just a few more areas to fix up. And to select the stamp tool, you can come over here and click it, or you can just click on S on your keyboard, and that does it as well. That's need something a little bit darker. There you go. Human face is extremely unique, so you're going to have to be really smart about the color choices you pick. And that's one of the great things about the stamp feature. If I didn't have stamp, uh, it would take literally days to go through and pick out uh, the swab of colors that you would need in order to try to replicate uh, the different color ranges that occur on the face. Okay, I think that's going to be what we're going to go with. You can see right there, that looks a million times better. If you want to see a comparison, look at that, and now we'll switch back to the original image, and it's a huge difference. We've removed all the major ones and, uh, and these three main areas. You can see they're completely gone, and it also has a really nice natural look to it. Another thing that you can do, uh, especially when you're dealing with blemishes, is changing the layer levels. Uh, and when I'm talking about levels, I mean brightness levels. So one thing we can do to uh, try to make this even look a little bit better is hit Command L, and you'll see this graph come up and now you can actually play with the contrast and the uh, the brightness in this image so what I'm gonna do is very lightly bring it here and bring this to the left just a tick and so you don't want to do anything too much you could take this all the way here and just blow it out of the water and make it uh, where you can barely even recognize it but if I do something just like that, you can see that all of those little red marks have now pretty much been removed. So uh, going back to the first picture and then see the second one looks completely different. Uh, doing the second part and using the layers is completely up to you. It's up to the look you're trying to go for. You'll see this a lot in magazines because it's a, a lot of people naturally are going to have ridges in their face and have uh, blemishes uh, all over and there's no way of getting all of them out without spending days on it. So uh, what this does is it takes out almost essentially that entire color range and gives you a face that looks really 100% better. So uh, you now know how to remove blemishes in Photoshop and congratulations. Please let me know if you have any other questions about it.